Hey there, Chris Dale here again with a over the wire challenge. This time we're on level 25 of the Nanas web challenges. And it seems like we have this quote, some kind of strings that we can translate between English and German. And as we're changing language, we can see that the parameter up here is the one that is changing. And I guess it's time to start fuzzing it. So let's see. We are right now over here. Let's intercept the request. Press Control L, hit Enter. We're now intercepting it. Press Control I, send it to the intruder. And see what happens when we give it a little bit of fuss. Mm, in this case, I think I want to remove the cookie just to see what happens when I don't have a cookie. Then I'm going to add my little bytes, all the bytes from 00, zero all the way up to FF, so that we will basically check all possible values of a single byte. And ooh, out of the gate, we can see that a null byte, the percent zero, 00 here, is actually giving us a different content length. Kind of interesting. Let's see what happens when we give it this. From here, when we give it a percent zero, zero, we see that file exists, expects parameter 1 to be a valid path, string given in index of PHP on line 37. Very interesting. So that means that when given a null byte, the, instead of uh, we're giving it a string, but instead of it validating as a path, it validates as a string. And that should lead us into thinking that this might be some kind of directory traversal type vulnerability. For example, let's do this. Uh, at to see NADAS web pass and let's do NADAS 26 because that's where this this guy here is storing levels. As we've learned in the previous levels, that's where the, the password for the next levels are stored. Uh, that did not work though. So can we do something like exit password here? Oh, kind of interesting. So that's kind of interesting that we we kind of get a default output or we, we, we get this output here when this directory traversal did not work. I would expect the password directory traversal to work though. But let's try something else. Like let's see uh Natus web pass. Let's try like Natus.6. We get empty. What if we do something that shouldn't exist? We also get something weird. Right? So 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 this is kind of Kind of weird for me. So notice when I'm trying to hack this, I'm, I'm I don't have the solutions up front necessarily. I'm experimenting. I'm trying to figure out and think what the developers might have been doing behind the scenes here. So null byte did give us some juicy information there. So what if hmm, what if we try? different type of directory traversal. So that did not seem to work. So the nice thing with directory traversal is that you can have as many dot dot slashes as you want. Uh, basically, uh, once you hit the root level of the top level of your directories, it will just not go any further, even if you have more dot dot slashes coming in. But that did not work. So I'm thinking we need to maybe fuss with a directory traversal type of fuss. We can try. Here we have path traversal vulnerabilities. You can notice here we have these files. So what we could do is I can do a string replace. So we're going to replace here. I'm going to replace file with, say, to see password. I kind of want to, oh, um, so basically, we have to escape this. Hello, little one. So let's see what happens now. I'm trying to replace it with password. That's my daughter coming into the room, by the way. <laughs> Which is fine. She's going to be a hacker sometime in the future. And she's looking at the spy pen right now. She's wanted to be 
wants it to be <laughs> charged up with power so we can see what it does. So right now I can see that the content line here does not reveal anything. It's not the YouTube little one. So that means we're gonna replace this one with this. Try it like this. See if we can get any type of different results here. And we did not. I mean, no success yet, that is. So I'm gonna keep replacing. I'm gonna NADAS web pass NADAS 26. See if we can grab the next level using this technique. So here we can see that we got some different outputs, but that's basically what we saw before. We don't have any output in the back from the back end when we give it the NATAS web pass information. So let's see if the bus here reveals anything. No, it did not. So we'll do this one. And it did not reveal anything. It's a bit strange to me. When given the NATAS web pass, all of a sudden the behavior of the application changes. And this null byte, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on this null byte. That's beautiful, just finding that stuff there. This is from a previous level. Alright, so did not work as expected. I'm gonna try the other slashes as well, just because in my fussing list here I do have all kinds of different uh, slashes. So I just want to make sure that we can cover them all. Uh, to me, it looks like we're gonna fail on this. We're not gonna be basically we're not gonna be successful finding the password to the next level like this. So that means I want to Google, I want to discover what this here means. File exists. So that's a function. And we gave it, so we're basically inside of this function, file exists with our parameter. When given a null byte, it fails because it's a null byte, not a valid path. And basically, we we move from that point. We move to the next level of the source code, whatever is validating next. So I'm thinking that we are in this case here. We're not going to the next step, or we're going to the next step, but there's nothing to fetch. So I'm thinking I want to take a look at the source code. So let's take a peek at the source code. So, Araki exists language, yes, safe include, ooh. So, there's a language folder, and it defaults to safe include English. That's why we're seeing the default basically giving us English version. Um, pretty interesting that we're not getting any output in some of our inputs though. So, safe include checks for director carousel. If string screen contains dot dot slash, Log request, director source log time, fixing request, log request, huh? So basically they remove our dot dot slash. <coughs> okay. And then NATAS web pass. Ooh, they don't want us to get into the NAS web pass. That's why we see the exit. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. That's why we see basically the short results because they're just killing the script, to dying it off or exiting off the script if they see us requesting anything that has to do with NAS web pass. Gotcha. So even if we could bypass this one, which we probably did, uh, or maybe not, but still, uh, we would still be caught here. Add more checks. All right, gotcha. And if file exists, then we're going to include it. Gotcha. Okay, so so NADIS web pass, we could probably get by this, maybe if we could encode our input in some kind of way so it doesn't read NADIS web pass, it reads something else. And also this log request is kind of interesting. List files. Okay. So there is a function to list files. And it just reads out direct. The, all the files in a directory looks like if it's not dot dot or dot it puts it into an array and returns that array all right and then the log request so it logs here and it writes it into a folder Ooh, burn this is where it gets interesting guys because it logs into a folder and if we can perhaps include this folder we might 
we get some kind of code execution here. So what we're going to do is, so I'm going to first of all, oh, that's interesting, undefined variables, love it, beautiful. Love applications that have verbose error messages. So what we're going to do first of all is, I'm going to capture a request, control R to send it to the repeater, and from here I have my PHP session ID, and I'm going to go to the source code here. I'm going to copy this in here, open up Notepad, and I'm going to add this PHP session identifier here, dot log. And I'm going to try to include this one without using directory traversal. So I'm going to use an absolute path to see if I can include it. And that did not work, probably because this one here did not find that file to be existing, perhaps. So maybe we need to try again, or just that absolute path does not work here. So it checks this, it checks if it contains NAS web pass, it does not. So if safe include language, array key exists, blank. So we need to get out of this path, basically. This is where we're in trouble, because we want to do path traversal in this case. Um, we want to go further down. So I'm wondering, perhaps we're able to get past this with our fuzzer now. So I'm going to do this. We're not using anything with WebPass. I'm going to add the payloads containing directory traversal. And we're going to replace we're going to replace the curly bra curl braces file with nothing. I want to see what's up. See if we can get any type of traversal passing through. So first of all, we're now this is this is nice. We're we're also going to URL encoded here. So what I'm also going to do I'm going to do an encode decode URL decode on this payload and try again just because I want to see both results. So here we have no discrepancies in size, no discrepancies in status. I don't have a good reason to look at timing right now. So let's go to this one. Do we have any? Ooh, we do have 400. That's fine because we're breaking the request. So it doesn't look like an HTTP query anymore. So not too big of a new, but, but a tiny one. Uh, other than that, other than that, it didn't work. So that means our fussing endeavors on that, well, basically, we can't pass this one, dot to slash. So it's string strings. It replaces. This string replaces. How many does it replace, really? Maybe it only replaces one. And if we add two or, or one inside of the other one, it, it, it creates a new one. You know, uh, there might be ways of doing this still. For example, say we add something like this and they they remove for example uh, we'll do something like this and if they now remove this dot dot slash they just created another one you see that it removed this we add like dot dot slash here so if they string replace this boom they created another one there might be ways of doing that replace all occurrences of the string with the replacement string. So that's the problem, all occurrences of the string. But I still think we're onto something here. So let's do this, dot, 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 slash, slash. So dot, 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 slash, slash. If they string replace that, it creates a new one. That's it. They, they are not recursive here. So I think this might work. They're not using the function in recursion. That means, that means, we got a vulnerability on our hands because what they're doing here, they're checking to see if uh, here, if the string contains directory traversal, but they're not checking to see if the new string that is returned contains directory traversal. They're only checking the original string, not the new string produced by this function. It's not recursive. Hence, we got a problem on our hands here. So now we have logs. 
of user agents. Oh, this is scary. This is a public web server. I don't want to run anyone else's code here. Uh, but all right, all right. So they're logging probably my requests here. Mozilla revision 70. Let's double check that. Is that us? Revision 70, yes. So this is included in a web page. It's not just our user agent being shown as HTML. It's included into the code, meaning uh, meaning that we can make it include a user agent containing PHP code. Yes. Uh, not too much to be concerned about, by the way, because this session identifier here, no one else should have it. Hence, when I include it, I should only be including my own PHP code here. But still, it's a bit uh, ugh, it's a bit scary, you know, running someone else, potentially running someone else's code here. But um, let's check then. Let's put something in to the log that will get logged. Not as web pass. This will be logged. And the user agent, I'm basically gonna do this, remove it, say PHP, and I'm gonna be doing oh how do we read a file in PHP? So let's see how they done it here. F open. Maybe we don't need to do it like that. Let's just check this output here. What if we echo? Could create a shell, except that this server actually limits our raw shell capabilities. Uh, we could make it type out the flag. I think that's what we're going to do. So PHP, read and echo file. File get contents, beautiful. So we're going to do file get contents here. And the file name is going to be. So this is the parameter we need. All these other ones inside of the square brackets here are optional. And it takes in, ooh, even takes in remote stuff. That's cool. So we're going to take in this value here. Nope, 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 nope. Brain fart. We're going to get the contents of slash var uh, at the C, not as web pass, not as 26. End of string, semicolon. All right, let's try. Hit refresh on this one. And legal file access aborting. And we don't see. So 1038. We are, so this, I mean, not counting time zones here. This did not work as exact expected. So why don't we first then, I'm going to say this in a notepad. Why don't we first then echo testing, right? So we do something simple. We run some some code that should be able to run. Do we see testing somewhere? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We see testing here. Testing, testing. Directory traversal aborting. So it did echo testing. Why did we not see the contents of the file though? Ooh, I know why. Because file get contents doesn't have a print in it. We do this, send, hit refresh. Lo and behold, the password to the next level. Why don't we try it? Isn't hacking fun, guys? I love it. All these mysteries and funky bugs that we can find. It's really, really cool. Just like that, we have the next level. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do leave a like. That is much appreciated. If you want to have notifications when I publish new videos, leave a subscribe. And as always, see you next time. Bye-bye. Cool.